Well, good morning. Pastor Jay here with your Wednesday devotion. And it's not Wednesday, uh, it's Sunday afternoon. And we just had confirmation. Six very fine young members of our youth group were confirmed. Uh, they're so smart. They know what they're doing. One of the things we stressed to them, though, was that faith is a journey. It's not arriving somewhere. It's not like they have all the answers. It's not like they don't have any doubts. Faith is about walking together. And sometimes we walk in the toughest places imaginable. I want to share with you a story, another one from Vanishing Grace. This is from a hospice chaplain. And here's how the, the part of this begins. Our ancestors feared God. We moderns fear death. When my wife worked as a hospital chaplain, she met with any willing patients, regardless of their faith backgrounds. All of them had terminal conditions, and few at that hospice, li hospice lived longer than a few weeks. Some wanted nothing to do with a chaplain, although she found that, that, that they were a distinct minority. Questions that most of us set aside or ignore during normal life force their way to the surface when death stares us in the face. Partly through Janet's influence, a friend named C Susan began a study uh, course in hospital chaplaincy. As she was setting down some of her reflections in journal form, Susan realized that her own theology had been both tested and formed by spending time with others of a different or of no faith. She realized that because of her confidence that God is the God of all comfort, she can enter a room offering genuine compassion and comfort to those who do not believe the same. God seems to be teaching me to widen my heart while keeping my eyes on him. Great idea. Her reflections offer a model of presenting Christ to post-Christians, especially at time of crisis. When she enters a room, Susan assumes that, bidden or not, God is already present. We love because he first loved us, she says, quoting John. And I picture God pouring from his pitcher into me so that I can pour out to others. Another great image. And then be replenished with God's love. I enter with a smile, feeling privileged to share the sacred ground on which someone clings to life. If I forget that God goes ahead of me and think instead that I'm bringing God into the room, I can have an air of smugness. I feel pressure to say the right thing, try to impress the patient or staff. In short, I take myself too seriously. I need the constant reminder that God precedes me in the room and that the person in the bed has a story that I can learn from. Susan says it helps to picture the roles reversed, herself in the bed, imagining a stranger entering the room with a serious look, furrowed brow, hands clasped, and with advice to impart. She encountered a chaplain like that when her own daughter lay in a hospital after a serious accident, and she felt no comfort. Rather, she wants someone who shows attentive respect, who has good eye contact, and conveys a sense of ease not cockiness. That makes all the difference, doesn't it? When you know that God is already in the room, when you know that God is at work already out in the world. That's what we try to tell our confirmands. Uh, you're entering a journey, journey while well, God's already there. You're just continuing on. You're seeking his presence as you're out in the world, knowing that he's there to greet you. So let's have a prayer. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for our six confirmands today. We thank you, Lord, that they've come to know you better, that they've grown in the faith, and that, Lord, now they're dedicated to you as adult Christians. We also pray, Heavenly Father, that you would remind us that you are there when we reach out in the world. Wherever we are, you are there waiting for us. You're already at work. But, Lord, we want to be a part of that work. So allow us, Lord, to have open eyes to see you and a heart willing to follow your direction. We ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you're having a good week thus far. Have a great Wednesday.